Gundam is a hallmark of anime, and here are the franchise's most impressive mecha designs from across the years. Among the timelines of the Gundam franchise, many standards of giant robot beauty exist. From the more conventional and realistic designs of the Universal Century timeline to the wackadoo and nationalistic configurations of the hot-blooded Future Century timeline Gundams come in all sizes, shapes, and forms. Standards of beauty are mostly subjective when it comes to anything, let alone how good giant robots look in a universe where fights between them decide the fate of the universe. So, without further ado, here are the 10 best ranked Gundam designs. 10. Gundam Barbados Third Form. The Gundam Barbados is the eighth of the 72 Gundam frames created by Yallerhorn near the end of the Calamity War to counter the threat of the powerful mobile armors such as Hashmal. It was later discovered by Maruba RK in the Mars Desert and was recovered to serve as a power reactor for Kreisgard Security's base. The machine was taken out of the base by Mikazuki August during Yallerhorn's assault. CGS, now Tekadin, continued to improve the suit with parts and armor taken from defeated Yallerhorn mobile suits. Tewa's technicians later restored the Barbados to its original appearance and close to its original performance. The newest member of this list, the third version of the main mech from Iron-Blooded Orphans ditches the usual angular designs of previous generations for a more rounded shape overall. Designed to look like a demon, it sports claw-like hands, feral hooves, and a spaded tail to give it an overall wild design, while the standard white, blue, and red color palette is accented by a few traces of yellow which are common within this long-standing series. Just like its namesake, Barbados looks like a Grand Duke of Hell with its crown-like headpiece and the jagged red part that extends from its face to look like a royal beard, creating a true, white devil. 9. RX-78 II, The Original Gundam. As the success of the series began the Gundam franchise, the robot's design was the first of many variations in subsequent works. The design appearing in Mobile Suit Gundam serves as the iconic symbol of the Gundam franchise and sparked the creation of its multiple sequels and spin-offs. The design's blue, white, red, and yellow color motif has sold many toys since its inception, helping to make Gundam a household name among children and otaku alike. There is not much that can be said about the RX-78 II that hasn't been said already, other than the fact that even your father might scold you for not being able to recognize this prolific mech. 8. Unicorn Banshee. Don't let the name fool you, this giant robot from Mobile Suit Gundam Unicorn is actually supposed to resemble a lion. Taking a departure from the usual color pattern seen in most Gundams thanks to receiving damage while fighting in space, Unicorn Banshee is mostly clad in black with only a few spots of gold along its collar to represent a lion's mane and a set of horns that resemble a mohawk in the same color. While already an intimidating beast, the Unicorn Banshee also has its destroy mode, where it becomes decorated by golden outlines and becomes one of the scariest Gundams throughout the series history. 7. FA-78 Full Armor Gundam Thunderbolt Version. Did someone order defense, because I think someone ordered a whole bunch of it. When designing this mech someone took the phrase, the good offense is a good defense, and wholeheartedly built this mech to refute it. Fitted with enough body armor to make it a walking shield, the FA-78 can wield four separate buffers simultaneously thanks to the two sub-arms in its backpack. A heavily armored and highly maneuverable Gundam-type mobile suit deployed by the Moore Brotherhood. There was another type of full armor Gundam with similar model number, the FA-78-1, but it had different details and equipment. Both mobile suits were developed under the full armor operation, and their differences were a result of experimenting with various systems and equipment. Despite its bulk, the mecha is surprisingly mobile thanks to the thrusters built along its legs and backpack. All this and we have still to mention the several sets of rockets, beam sabers, and other armaments that this thing holds. There is probably no better Gundam to feel safe and secure on the battlefield. 6. GAT X-105E Plus Occam EX-09S Strike Noir Gundam. It's a mouthful, so let's just call it the Strike Noir from now on. Living up to its name, the Strike Noir is a mostly black Gundam with only a bit of color. While the design shore is sleek, what separates Strike Noir from the rest is its ability to wield dual pistols, M8 FSB-1, shorty, beam rifles in Gundam speak, in combat like a movie action hero. Each strong enough to destroy a regular mech with each shot, the Strike Noir is not only an effective threat on the battlefield but also a stylish one at that.
5. Strike Freedom Gundam. The upgrade to Freedom Gundam from Gundam Seed, Strike Freedom is the second mech piloted by the unkillable Kira Yamato and it is a beauty of a mech. If its colors and classic design do not get you, then just wait until it decides to spread its wings. A mobile suit tuned to meet Kira Yamato's needs, the Strike Freedom has variable phase shift armor, and like its predecessor, ZGM FX-10A Freedom Gundam, is primarily armed with powerful ranged weapons. Its armaments include head-mounted CIWS, an abdomen-mounted multi-phase beam cannon, hip-mounted railguns, combine able beam sabers and beam rifles, dragoon pods controlled by the new Super Dragoon system and beam shields. It is powered by the new Hyper Deuterian engine, and is also equipped with the Neutron Jammer Canceller and the Voiture Lumiere Propulsion System. 4. Heavy Arms Custom, Endless Waltz Version. Why focus on melee combat when you can have more guns? That was precisely the question that the Heavy Arms Custom designers asked when building the mech. Good for one thing and one thing only, Heavy Arms has a massive amount of firepower. There isn't even so much as a combat knife on this dark blue wonder, and that much dedication to its core concept should be respected. Though despite being a weapon made precisely for artillery warfare and not much else, its color scheme and design makes it stand out on the field among other great Gundams in Gundam Wing Endless Waltz. Instead of the red color scheme of the TV version, the Endless Waltz version sports a dark blue-green theme. This version has no shield and knife, but sports more missiles, two more chest gatling guns, and uses a pair of double gatling guns as its main weapon. In the glory of the loser's manga, thrusters are added to the central part of the backpack and the rear skirt armor. 3. God Gundam. Mobile Fighter G Gundam is known for some of the wackiest designs in the franchise. From Gundams that look like cowboys to others that look like windmills, there was no shortage of mechs that forced you to do a double take. Though its unusual sense of design did succeed where it counted, mainly, in the design of its main mech. Piloted by Domon Kasu, God Gundam, known as Burning Gundam to our Toonami watchers, was the ultimate mech from the series. Modeled after a samurai in full armor, God Gundam shares a familiar color scheme with many other main mechs throughout Gundam and can move like a martial artist thanks to an advanced full body control scheme. Making it a treat to watch during the Gundam fight tournament. Two. Wing Gundam Zero, Endless Waltz version. The Gundam Wing fanservice isn't quite done yet. To several Toonami watchers, there is no better Gundam series than Gundam Wing and that is for good reason. Along with an incredible storyline, intense action sequences, and the perfect time slot right after school, it also contains several of the best designed mechs in the franchise. The epitome of which would be the Wing Gundam Zero from Endless Waltz. But resembles Wing Zero in appearance even more than before and can be equipped with extra energy cartridges to enable its buster rifle to fire a maximum of 9 shots instead of 3. 1. New Gundam, New Gundam. Here it is, the best looking mech in the franchise. The successor to the original Gundam from the first series, the V Gundam is an improvement in almost every way. Designed by the ace pilot, Amuro Ray, to be versatile while also focusing on endurance for long Gundam battles, it also battle contains powerful fin funnels that can access. be used for attack or defense. Ray also designed it to be damn good looking. Doing away with all of the yellows from the original design, it now uses red sparingly along the mostly blue and white frame to really pop out that color. Overall, giving it a more unified color palette that makes sure the mech looks just as good as it fights.